Hey guys, we're back in Comb, and you'll probably notice that there's a couple quests that have changed. I had already done them. I tried recording, but there was a problem with the recording, so they'll have to be left out. And now we're going to be on to the prologue for Cut Leaf's Goods. I'm going over here to talk to Ellie Cutleaf. Can I be of service? There you go. And off we go. Defeat Skunkwood's den mother. Most of the stuff is done here. We just have these, this prologue and then we are finished with Comb. We'll be moving on to Staddle afterwards. Now if you're wondering where I got the mount from, there's a Summerfest going on currently and I went and did a few of those those attractions. There's um, keg racing near Thorns Hall, as well as a hobbit race in Michael Delving. You go, you take a guess on who you think's gonna win, and from there, you watch the race. You win, you get six tokens, but you lose, you get a compensation prize of one. And after about 20 tokens, you can get one mount. If there's another one for 40. This one you see here is the 40 mount. I got lucky and had a few wins, as you can see here. I've only got to win or pick these two to win and have them win and I've got the lucky duck title but unfortunately nothing else comes with that no turbine points just a title but you can only do that that particular Indeed, on Summerfest, after all the races aren't going all year round. Alright, looks like I'm in the right place. option here where you can fast travel directly to them. It's like a basically a quick teleport. But it costs me through coins. Something that I'm saving comes. From what I understand, you're gonna I'm gonna need a few of them in Moria. Moria seems to be a vast place with a lot of quests that send you throughout the place. And 
helps you out to have these mithril coins to travel. Alright, let's take this back in and see what we got. The Moria is an expansion, the Mines of Moria. I already have it. I used uh, turbine points to purchase it. Uh, I believe you can also uh, still purchase it at stores if you want to do it that way. Combat. They had a bristle hide inside their camp. I didn't even notice it. Chased my dust. some of the travel out. I mean I leave some of these some of the travel in so you can see how to get to your quest location from the quest giver. But at the same time it just extends things a little bit a bit much. Alright. What can I do for you? Take a moment of your time. Your cart well. All right, let's go. <laughs> He's just around the corner, so it's not so bad. houses make it a little easier. Make the run a little, uh, a little shorter. What can I do for you? Alright, while well, I'm here, I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. Are you looking for something, friend? Alright, now we gotta go collect honey, four black wart roots, and six red berries. Bit of a shopping list, but no problem. Now the honey is right over here behind this building. Real easy enough. Just navigate. 
navigate around the bears and you're all set. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. Speeds things up a bit if you don't. Yeah, I know you're passing up XP. But in this case, I'll go ahead with it. Alright, now what do I need? Okay, the black ward roots. I know where that's at. That's back in the Chetwood Forest. Like you can see, I just, I'm at the edge of comb right here. So you just take a run right over here, and it's over by the wolves' den that you cleared out earlier. Or should I say that I cleared out? But you know where it is if you choose to go with it. See how this looks in first person view, just for a second. Looks good. And so, let's get back out of the first person. No, I'm not going to fight you if I don't have to. I'm trying to go a little quick with this. And here we are, our first black ward. Say hello to the spider. Works for me because we're still working on this right here. Spider Slayer. So let's... Hey, look at that. I'm right up here. And we're done with this one. Head all back over to Leecher Cartwell. And give him his groceries. There's that wolf. Oh, he's way back there. Let's go to the first person just because I want to see the scenery. Anybody else here ever try playing this uh, game in MMO like this? Straight first person the whole way. Personally, I don't think I could do it very well. I'd always be curious as to anything that's coming from out of my view range. Sides sneaking up behind me. I don't mind traveling like this too much. Personally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to play like this very effectively. There. Continue quest, collecting the poison, and we're gonna have to go back to Miss Cutleaf. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it here. We'll pick up and go visit Miss Cutleaf on the next next video. Thanks for watching. Later.